Morning, folks. Welcome to stage 13 of the 2023 Tour de France. Uh, today's stage was a big one, big GC day. This is going to be controversial. I'm going to call today a 6 out of 10, but just because nothing really happens until the very end. If you watch the whole stage, you're pretty bored. You can turn it on with 3K to go, and you will absolutely get all that you need. Not as much fireworks happen as I hoped, but it was a super fun stage uh, and a short one, which we always like. Today's sponsor, real quick, Competitive Cyclist, the code ALLE. They're doing all kinds of discounts for the Tour de France. Uh, ALLE, A-L-L-E-Z. That means like, go, hooray, excitement. Uh, that gets you 20% off one item uh, on CompetitiveCyclist.com. Use my link below so they can track it. I love a local bike shop. I love getting my stuff fixed there. I love having someone else build my bike, but learn how to do the basic repairs yourself. Get the tools. I'm not saying you need to learn how to true your own wheels, but learn how to adjust your derailleurs. Learn how to swap cassettes, all little things. Get yourself a nice torque wrench. Don't be the guy who fixes his bike, turns it upside down. You're scratching up your seat. You're ruining your bar tape. Uh, get yourself a nice work stand. Whatever you need, you can chat online with the customer service. They're all super nice and helpful and expert. And then if you order often enough, you can join the reward program which includes free shipping so you don't have to give all your money to Amazon. Anyway, use my link and then 20% off with the code ALLE. I forget when that expires, it might be soon, so check that out now. Okay, will you sit and be quiet? Will you sit and be quiet? Thank you. See, that's the... Okay, thank you. A couple quick notes from yesterday. Uh, I mentioned folks making lawn art with uh, like the big white chairs that saw that look like a bicycle from overhead. Uh, someone said that there's a contest and you can win a trip to Paris that the Tour de France organizes a contest for, for spectators on the side of the course. I hope that's true, although how hard is it to get to Paris if you live in France? Isn't it like kind of a two or three hour road trip from pretty much anywhere? But I could find no support for that uh, on the internet, which could mean it's not true. It could also mean that I don't speak French. But I'd love to scroll through like a gallery of the past winners of that. So if that exists, uh, please leave a link in the comments. I also mentioned the neutral and how that kind of provides a built-in warm-up for the riders, and that's nice. Uh, what I didn't mention, and a couple a couple pros DM me who shall remain unnamed, uh, is that the neutral, when you're looking at the race distance, and the same thing happens for spectators, but when you're looking and it says, oh, it's 220k day, they don't leave the neutral in that. So it does suck when it's, oh man, I'm looking at a 220k day, this much climbing, that's going to be tough, and then you look and it's like, 12k neutral? It's brutal sometimes. The neutral is a, is a low-key, here's, I'm riding even longer longer than I thought, and, uh, and we don't always appreciate it. Today's stage, uh, Bastille Day, July 14. Uh, that celebrates the storming of the Bastille in 1789. I had to look that up. I did not remember my uh, my world history. The Bastille was a prison where the king could just put folks he was mad at and not explain why. So French Revolution, it's their 4th of July. So short stage today with a very flat first half, uh, and then a couple good climbs, kind of a, a good climb in the middle, and a big climb to the finale. Big early breakaway, 20 dudes, and then the GC guys waited, obviously, until the final climb uh, to go at each other. The Peloton kept the breakaway pretty close today. I think that was UAE, just looking for a stage win for Pogacar. He must have felt good. And it was clearly, it was on him to be on the offensive. Jumbo Visma uh, got to sit back and be defensive today. But they didn't keep it close enough. Really, like, 5, 6K to go when the final climb started. That was the only time you had to start paying attention. Uh, Kwiatkowski dropped the breakaway and came in solo for the win. Back in the pack, the usual suspects line up at the front. Uh, there really wasn't enough time to create huge time gaps. Uh, Yates looked good for UAE. He lasted about as long as Sep, uh, which might just mean the climb wasn't that long, wasn't that hard to really do the kind of damage that we were hoping for. So here's your bike racing math today. 400 meters. That was when Pogachar attacked. 400 meters to go. Now, is he going to make a decisive GC victory in 400 meters? No. But can he take the 9 of the 15 seconds he needs? Absolutely. He got 4 or 5 seconds today. The difference now is 9. That's all he had to do. I said it before. If it comes down to a snap, Pogachar is going to get Jonas every time. And if he get, you know, 2 seconds here, 2 seconds there, that wins this Tour de France as it plays now. Jonas is going to have to find a long climb and, and actually crack Pogacar and put big time into him one of these days. If he lets it come down to a sprint or a few little mountaintop sprints, uh, he's going to lose this thing. But you think, oh, 400 meters to go, there's not going to be any big time splits. Uh, you'd be surprised how much time can take place when one guy can accelerate and one guy is cracked. You can create time gaps in a pretty small distance. And on a stage like today that's relatively short, uh, Pogacar is going to have even more snap than normal. So what are they not seeing on TV? Uh, they were talking about guys choosing between their, their climbing bikes and their aero bikes. I mentioned yesterday that Factor's new uh, O2 VAM has just kind of got a bunch of those aero features. But they were talking about, this is the world feed, by the way, they were talking about uh, how to choose between guys who are looking at the course saying, well, you know, the first half is flat, so for that, I'm going to want the aero bike, but then there's a hill at the end, so how do you choose? Uh, that's the wrong approach. That would be your approach if it's a time trial, because you're not drafting. So you wouldn't be choosing your equipment based on not the, the majority of the course, but the critical moment for you. So if it's a mountaintop finish, but you're afraid you're going to be dropped uh, in the crosswind, well, then you're going to need your aero bike. Or if it's 200K pan flat, 
except for one steep hill right at the middle and you're gonna be dropped on that hill. Well, then you need the climbing bike. Otherwise, you're never gonna see the pack anyway. So when it comes to wheels, bikes, helmets, any of that stuff, uh, the critical point, that's what they're looking for in equipment selection. Mishap today was when the early break went, it was 20 dudes and what happens is uh, when the Peloton is happy about the break, they just form a wall because they don't want more guys bridging across. They want the, the festivities to be over with from the breakaway folks. But what inevitably happens is one team missed out or one guy wanted to be there and he couldn't. And he has to like worm his way through. The pack is so dense and there's a wall and there's no room to get around. So he has to worm his way through and then attack and then people are always yelling at you. But who you're really worried about is a director yelling at you in your ear because you missed the break again. So today that was Cockard. Uh, trying to get across to the break that was already gone, kind of frying in no man's land for a while. Uh, I've, I've been there. You got to do it once in a while, but uh, tough to watch. Armchair race organizer. I love a short stage, 160K. Uh, every year they have one or two of these, and every year we're like, that was great. And then they don't really do any more of them. I'm not saying you should shorten the whole Tour de France, but uh, you know, give us a little more fireworks. Give us a little more condensed racing. Give it, make it more of a, a must watch. Tour de France always says we're the most watched sporting event in the world, uh, you know, way more than the Super Bowl. Well, yeah, because you're on 30 hours a week in every bar for a whole month of July across Europe. So believe me, the teams who are invited are telling that to their sponsors, but they all know it's not really true. So you want folks watching, uh, give us a stage we have to watch. If I was watching in person today, where would I want to be? Uh, final climb, you've got to do that once. Now, it's not as easy as it seems because there's not like there's a ton of parking up there and they close the road uh, probably a ways before the race is going to get there, of course. Uh, you want to ride your bike up there so you can get down without waiting for them to break down the barriers. But on a short stage, you probably have a little more time to get up there. There's tons of folks riding. The Mount Baldy stage of Tour of California was always where we would have uh, our cookie corner and there's be crazy crowds riding up because it was close to LA. Uh, really fun atmosphere and environment uh, on those climbs in the finale. And, you know, someone's given the updates on the Jumbotron. It's a good time. It's a chore, but it's Bastille Day. You know, it's a holiday weekend. You can, you can sleep it off on Saturday, Sunday. Unanswerable hypotheticals. How could a Frenchman have won today? It's Bastille Day. Uh, a Frenchman's supposed to win on that day. You know, that's a tough task. Kind of Pino's job. He was in the breakaway yesterday. He sort of closed the door on that. A little bit surprised that he didn't look at today's stage and think, oh, I'm going to taper and rest going into this. Uh, what he probably thought was the same thing I would have thought was that Emirates was going to be kind of greedy and keep the break close and, and give that to Bogacar. That's what they were trying to do. Uh, and they kind of missed out on it. I was looking at the profile for tomorrow's stage, uh, super lumpy the day after as well. This is just not a fun time if you're a sprinter in the Tour de France. You've got to get through to the Champs-Élysées. Uh, you're just really bummed out looking at the race book. The breakaway guys are stoked for sure. It could pan out that way. Uh, and obviously we can expect Jonas and Pogacar to, to, to duel it out uh, again tomorrow. Thanks again for watching, listening. Uh, shout out to, I'm not going to name the very successful actor, comedian, producer, who I'm a big fan of, who DM me and listens to this, and then gave me a convenient diagram for lighting. I hope, I don't think there's a shadow today, uh, so we'll see if it worked. It's a shout out, but I'm not going to name him, because then uh, all the YouTubers are going to expect free consultation from Hollywood celebrities. All right, cheers. Happy Bastille Day. See you tomorrow.